Welcome to Tinks Invest. We talk about investing, finance, and professional woman. As the current time of 2.41 p.m. on Eastern Time, it's up $2,053, up about 5.12% so far. With respect to over crypto market and the equity market, we are bright green today. With respect to across all the indexes, uh, across the spectrum, we're up uh, with Dow Jones up about 1%, S&P up about 1.7%. Nasdaq up 3%, while Russell's up about 2.5%, while on the opposite side of the spectrum, seems like the the VIX, which is the fear index, is dipping today by 6.11%. As Wall Street is trying to normalize, uh, back to more of a normal self, um, you know, from the emotional roller coaster that we've been experiencing throughout this whole week. And what's the momentum looking like right now, I would say, is uh, reversing nicely, but in the more of an optimal level, not like robustly reversing, knowing the fact that there's still some lingering factor among the market uh, for, with the, you know, I would say approximately 28 days from now is the next FOMC meeting, right? Depicting, knowing the fact that we already have two negative historical reports from the CPI report and the PPI report, both reported to hit historical levels, indicating that more inflationary pressure will be imminent and with that being said you know people are you know brainstorming or triangulating in their heads that you know with the inflationary pressure increasing at the level at the accelerated level that we at right now um increasing the interest rate from 50 basis point which is where we at right now to 75 basis point to even a hundred basis point can be possible so when you have something like that, I mean, 100 basis point, that's like 4x of what's the original amount that we we're expecting to raise the rates. That could cut into corporate margins and also that could literally kill companies that some companies might not actually live through the recession if that was the case. So with that being said, it obviously drove a huge fear mongering, broke through the respective levels, right? And right now, we try to recuperate back up. Uh, but in terms of momentum right now, it looks like we are uh, sustaining nicely, just approximately around $2,000 for Ethereum. So let's just dive into it. So with respect to recording time of 2.44 p.m. on the Eastern Time, we are above, obviously, the $2,000 level. Trying to get up to the next level of 2155 right? But right now, we're in between the levels and a flat number, right? 2050 like 2000, 2050, 2100, these are all flat levels, right? Um, and with respect to why we bounced yesterday is because we were extremely submerged, right? At the $1,700, $1,750 level. And as you get recuperated, you get immediately got bought up at the 24 hour of 70. And right now, what's the next logical tactical moves for us is basically watch the RSI move back up to approximately 45 out of 70 on the needle front. And at the same time, you know, with this large separation, allow for it to recuperate and actually form a confirmed uh, U shape, which is something we need. Right now, we're kind of looking like it's kind of halfway there. It's kind of iffy looking. So as we get there, we will see some sort of a rebound. But it might make sense because the outlook still doesn't look the most, um, how would you say, bullish. It still looks like, you know, we might just be trading on a sideways fashion on a downtrend until we get confirmatory signal on what's going to happen, especially with the next two, F two FOMC meeting, right? One in June and July with a gap until September. So we still need to kind of wait until then, right? Respect to Bitcoin, uh, about 2.5%, lingering back up around the 2 like the uh, 30,500, we could see clearly we're still not there, right? Because it's still relatively, you know, iffy. People don't really have a confirmed confirmatory signal where the 20 out of 70 is still oversold, curving up slowly. So it's no U-shape yet. We still need to kind of see a confirmed U-shape coming up to ideally bare minimum 32,600. But I think it makes sense because every single time we get to around 50, you get canceled out. So I think as we get back up to 35, or somewhere between the level of 35 to 38, we should ideally maybe taking some profit in the short term. But if you, you know, believe in this long term, obviously Bitcoin is still in a huge discount. Uh, hold it long term around and buy in this, in this level and hold it for the next three to five years. <clears throat> Respect to, uh, for Ethereum Classic, we're down uh, up about 
eleven percent. Anywhere from current level down to fifteen is logical to DCA based on the current setup right now. Dogecoin up about seven point seven five percent. Anywhere from current level down is still logical to DCA. I would say across the spectrum is still viable. Uh, Cardano up about sixteen percent. Um, anywhere from fifty all the way to forty six to thirty eight are still logical to DCA from here. Solana is at the flat numbers across a lot of altcoin are trading on the flat levels right now. Uh, going coming back up at fifty, so seventy one to fifty is the logical logical level of the DCA. We're still really oversold at twenty five out of seventy at the moment. XRP up about eleven percent. Uh, coming back up uh, to ideally somewhere around you know right now is the forty. 45, 50, right, which is levels that we consolidate every single time, 50, 55, 60, all the way to 69, which is the next level of substantive numbers. But 57 and 15 and 69 are respective levels. Polkadot about 25%. Uh, trade on the flat numbers right now, like 7, 8, 9, 10, we're at $10 right now because it's also a consolidated level at 11. Right, so you could round it up to 11 right now, so we're kind of there right now. We need to really see a scoop up, confirming a cross up for us to sustain this bullish trend. With respect to Algorand, about 13% so far. Uh, we're also recuperating back up. Uh, next level that will potentially get block it will be 57, all the way until 69 from here. With respect to Shiba Inu, it's up about 17%. Um, we're in between levels right now, clearly, right? 2100. 1400 which is between the levels 900 as the real level with 31 of 70 right now still covering up no signs of really major reversal yet uh, on the macd so it's kind of canceled out so the propensity of going back to 900 is more likely than actually going up to the 1700 1400 i mean sorry respect to mac tag um 67 cents right now up about 13 percent also logical Curving down at the moment, uh, anywhere from basically current level down to 50 is still logical. With respect to AVAX, up about 9% so far. Uh, anywhere right now is just basically trading on uh, flat numbers, right? 30, 35, 50, right? So next level we need to go up is 50. And I think by 50, we'll be somewhere around 50 out of 70, which is a good level to take some uh, profit short term from here. All right, so it seems like we're levitating across the market, <clears throat> which makes sense, right? Because like I think investors are still di digesting um, after this uh, long volatile week. Uh, it seems like we're still heading for a losing week, right? Which makes sense, right? Because we're not out of the woods completely, but it's definitely good to see some sort of uh, optimism, some buybacks, knowing the fact that we were extremely overly feared in the last forty hours so far. So, appreciate you. Have a good rest of the Friday. Uh, today's May 13th, uh, Friday the 13th as well, which is a weird day, huh? But uh, hope you guys also um, enjoy the rest of the day and the weekend. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Take care.